Very often in this strange universe, things are not what they appear. What's advertised in the store window isn't necessarily what's being sold inside. Actually, I'd always wanted to be a Zen priest and run a temple. So I've done the best I can. I've tried to convert this store into a lingerie Zen temple. That he would one day own a lingerie store was unthinkable to Michael Addy. He was a Buddhist monk celibate and pure of thought, seeking spiritual enlightenment in far off places. Hollywood couldn't have been farther from his mind. I was living in a Zen monastery in Japan and I got a telegram, your father ill. I came back here and uh, he said to me, my son, I give you the best thing a father can give his son, your own lingerie store. Like a good son, Michael Addy honored his father's dying wishes. And like a good Buddhist, accepted it as the will of a benevolent god when he inherited playmates. He hung up his robe and set about trying to achieve what many would have thought impossible, a harmonious balance between the external conflict of sex and religion. He set up meditation rooms, which conveniently doubled as changing rooms for his models. If you open our changing rooms, you find the people meditating in them and experiencing that truth, the deepest truth of life, that everything changes. But there's one thing that doesn't change, they find, and that's the pure consciousness of love that we're all made of. And since this was, after all, Hollywood, there was a matter of security. Mr. Addy covered it with a little help from his guardian angel. He saw confirmation of its power five years ago when lingerie zen was literally subjected to trial by fire, the Los Angeles riots. Stores on the boulevard were looted and burned. Playmate's main rival and close neighbor, Fredericks of Hollywood, was ransacked. But Mr. Addy's store was left unscathed, without so much as a missing negligee or cracked window. And so it's perhaps not surprising that business is booming and Mr. Addy's winning more converts every day. Among them, Mariah McGinnis, who started out selling lingerie for Mr. Addy and ended up buying his pitch. Mariah and other converts now meditate religiously on the roof of the store, praising God and Mr. Addy. When I was living for six months in the Zen Buddhist monastery, it was very serious times and dark and austere. Many people wore black. I was only allowed to wear really black in the Zendo. And here, in Mike's Zendo, you know, if I came in in a brassiere and whatever, it's totally fine. Now, Mr. Addy is willing to concede that he may have learned more about Zen Buddhism in a Hollywood lingerie store than he ever did in a Japanese temple, at least when it comes to the awkward union of sex and religion.